everybody, welcome back. That lost run could have been better. It was good, but it could be better. I don't know, the meme never really took off, right? Because Wonder Woman 84 was not that well liked. Um, PDVN, 42ML. I'm not insulting Wonder Woman 84. Not through my words, anyway. Through my actions, i.e. choosing to never see it, I guess I'm insulting it. We're gonna try, um, <laughs> Jacob and Esau. It's how you can tell I'm feeling spicy today. How, how you can tell I'm feeling ambitious. I woke up today and I chose... What can I say? I, I guess I chose violence. I think my, my predominant goal is simply to unlock their tainted versions. But if the run somehow ends up going above and beyond, which is admittedly like quite a difficult uh, uh, aspiration to actually reach, that would be nice. Don't get me wrong, it would be nice. I regret it a little here. But you know, ugh, we could trade a bomb for a key. We might want to because we can trade the key for alt path, which gives us, you know, a doubled item room, which is, I think, pretty important as Jacob and Esau. I really like the, the way those mechanics interact. Like two characters and then an item room that, uh, however dubious, uh, does provide you with the ability to get two items. And you never know. One of these days is going to be like Mom's Knife... Uh, Magic mush or something like that. It's gonna be an incredible day. Like Bill Withers said. An incredible day, incredible day, incredible day. Because we you, you can sing the song if you change one word. It's not DMCA anymore. Probably. Um we, we'll pick that up and I guess to be honest, we'll probably take the pills with us. Remember, you can use one bomb for two things. So as as minor as this might be. We can at least get an extra coin out of the, uh, out of what we did there. Uh, we might as well go to our shop. There could be two lucky pennies in there. I gotta remember, like, I'm so used to seeing restock and being like, it's the greatest item. And now it's not even really all that good. Um, especially when we have a limited amount of money. And we might as well take two of these with us. You know what? Control space. That's not that bad. Control space. That's not that good. Um, but the reason we wanted to take them is just because there were there were two pairs. So if they had been bad, we'd only get the downside of X. And if they had been good, we'd get the upside of 2X. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit, but I thought that that was a, a reasonable play. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to unlock a Tinted Jacob and Esau. And if the run somehow hits like an unbelievable... Uh, speed or an unbelievable quality, then then we can consider maybe trying to do the full alt path. For now, we're just doing the alt path uh, up to this point because, well, basically because we can. <laughs> the the dross is not that bad. I mean, if you you should see the Drachel. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it's a, it's a friend's joke. You wouldn't get it. It's pretty extreme. Oh, you're you like friends? Okay, who's your favorite friend? Chandler. Okay, fair enough. You know he's he's kind of a G. Um, but yeah, we're really the reason we're down here is because we can get two items instead of instead of the mirror one from a, a normal item room. That's why I actually think like, and it's so minor, but this is like really cool stuff that now that we're a little ways into repentance, we can start to think about the idea that like. Um, I do want to fight, but the idea that like more options and theirs options are now like 10 out of 10 items, at least as this character, or these characters, I guess. You know, it, it, the, being able to take two stat items from a boss is like pretty incredible. And there's options allows you to do it now with these guys. Okay, so this slipped rib, no, it's jawbone and something else. Jawbone is irrelevant. The spider is pretty good. Uh, again, the egg is kind of like irrelevant, and I know, you know, self own and whatever, but what else we got? Mucor mycosis. So, the Mucor mycosis is like the booger tears that stick to enemies and get stronger. It's like combination uh, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, combination booger tears, explosivo. So, I'm definitely not against that. 
The next step would be, can we provide... Plus, he looks so cool. <laughs> you see how Jacob looks, man? Future's so bright, he's got to wear shades. Uh, I, by the way, can I just tell you that I'm going to die? I heavily underrated... No. No. Saved? I... Don't. I, I don't know what's happening. I was gonna say, I, I heavily underrated um, the slow tiers. I thought they were just kind of like a little value add. No, man, they're, they're the whole freaking thing. So you're just as... Saved! Saved because we took damage with Jacob first. Get him! Get him! That almost... No, that was the... That was our own tier. Okay, okay. Well, we're fine in... In... So many ways. Um, we share speed. This is very important to a, a few commenters that I note that we share speed. Look at... He looks like Elton John, man. Esau and the Jake. Esau... I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but we could do Esau and the Jake. Nobody knows the lyrics to that. Even Elton makes it up as he go. She's got a moldy tube, a high-heeled shoe. You know she read it in a magazine. Esau and the Jake. That's this an Elton John joke. I don't know. I don't know if my audience is super familiar. Probably he's one of the largest-selling recording artists of all time, and also had a uh, supplementary role in the 2017 film. Kingsman 2, the Golden Circle. So we needed this just to ensure some survival. We're not gonna go to uh, the alt path any longer. It would be nice to get a deal with the devil here. I don't think it's too likely to... I mean, you can see the percentage for yourself. It's 36. It's not impossible, but... We're gonna be hoping to yeah, maybe have an easier boss fight here. And I, I think this fits the bill for certain. Uh, heavily split, please get back uh, into contention with one another. Thank you, in close proximity, I should say. Uh, and dude, the, the Jawbone's doing some work for us here. So we, we may preserve this Devil Deal chance. We will preserve this Devil Deal chance. Something like, like Abaddon or Nine Lives would do it, but I don't know why I'm still talking about it. It clearly did not come to pass. <laughs> Um, why don't you just take some HP? And we, we don't have the means to get down to the next floor anyway, so... Uh, the, the next, uh, alt floor. So, like, low on consumables. I don't think we used any bombs, either? I think I would've... I would've used them to access, uh, some of the myriad consumables available to us here. For example. Okay, now. It can be done. Can I do it? Apparently so. Who, who would've thought, man? Who would've thought? That was pretty good. Alright, well, um, I would say all things considered, we got two double item rooms. That's pretty good. We're gonna end up on Caves 2, I think? We're coming down to Caves 2. Sorry, the Catacombs 2, my mistake. What was I thinking? I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. This is one you, you, we're just gonna hold down Control the whole time. And mission failed, of course. There you go. I don't know the, the long-term optics of this run, but I do think we have two very, very good items. Um, that's unfortunate, but I, I think we have two very, very good items. Deadshot is insanely great. A library is so good, by the way, but um, Deadshot is insanely great. Now, if I could just get you guys to swap, just so you can both get access to these as much as possible, at least. I guess we can't really do it that way, but, um... This is a really good room. Don't, don't shoot, man. Come on. Like, that's insubordinate and churlish. Yera rune? Q. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. <laughs> he's, he's figuring it out. Um, it was pheromones this whole time, right? We, we could have used it at any given point, maybe to save us, to save us, but... Whatever, we're still chilling. Um, yeah, so mucormycosis or whatever the heck it's it's called. It's a word that could use some refactoring in my opinion. And uh, Deadshot are, are insanely good. We got some stuff that's like pretty decent. Uh, but but we're, we're expecting to kind of scale down now that we're not getting these double item rooms. 
That being said, Rune Bag kind of flies in the face of that. That's a uh, even after it's nerfed, that's a very solid item. This is another very solid room for the Bible, actually. Which is, you know, big ups to the Bible, but also, like, you know, really just goes to show you how nice it would be to be able to get a the real ability to fly. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, NL, you're never using Book of Shadows. I on a, This is the real penalty for me, apart from just backtracking. The real penal penalty for me on a floor like this is that I, I look at it and I go, well, the boss could be right around the corner, so I don't want to use this item just yet, when what I really should have done is probably used it as soon as it was available just about every time. But again, we wouldn't have gotten that without the Bible, so the, no negativity is meant there. Just so light on consumables, man. Okay, it turns out that room would have been even better for the Bible because it has a battery charge on it, but we'll get it anyway, I think. So I don't know, this this might work. Um, again, I, I didn't get a chance to talk about it too much. It's still Sunday, it's Sunday morning over here. Uh, having a good time, happy to be recording Isaac. Had good streams last week. Um, ended with Overcooked, you know, because we were, we were playing in Twitch Rivals, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and I honestly think we, we did very well. You know, I, I don't necessarily want to spoil it, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I'm... Unwary, I guess is a word. I'm not wary about spoiling anything. I'm more the opposite. I'm like, I already lived this, so like I don't I don't mind spoiling it because the VODs are available on Twitch, you know? But we came fourth out of ten, I guess out of nine in the overcooked rivals. And all things considered, I thought that that was like a really good result. <laughs> Considering it was the first uh time that uh Kate and I had been able to uh stream together since the baby, considering also that it was, uh, 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 we haven't played Overcooked, uh, oh, come on, I, I still need to set myself out of the room. We hadn't played Overcooked in, like, two years and didn't get a chance to practice before the, uh, the, the stream with everything that was going on, and, uh, Justin and Taffy, who were our, our partners for that, I thought we all did a really good job, I thought we had a good, a good stream. I had a fun time playing Overcooked, and, you know, we, 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 Got through relatively desalinated, which is all you could really ask, you know. Like it, that you might think that the number one team in that overcooked tournament was like calm, cool, and collected. It was not the case whatsoever. Was, they were like yelling at each other like crazy, which I don't even take as like a knock. It's really just like I think that's that's what you, I mean. They practiced as well, but and and were just good to begin with. But that's that's what you gotta do. Wait, hold on. Yera, Ansus, Awas. I would rather hold... Not Awas. Hold Yera instead. Alright. Um, that's what you gotta do. You gotta be very unselfish and... To, or very selfish, I should say. And to some extent, impolite in Overcooked. In order to, to do as well as possible. And I think that that's a good lesson. It's not that we were unwilling to do it. It's we, we still would have lost. Even if we were, you know, rude with one another in the interest of expediting. Um, but it is, it's comforting, because you're like, you know what, uh, maybe we would have won if we were just willing to shout at each other for charity, but instead we're like, you know, ah, it's a little bit more casual. <laughs> so let's just enjoy fourth place. <laughs> I've long been a proponent, I, I said this in the, in the chess Twitch rivals to, uh, Andrea. I was like, you know, the best thing that can happen to you in, in a tournament is to be in first place. No question. Everybody loves to win. The second best thing that can happen to you is to be close to dead last. Or at least, like... Let me put it this way. It's more like to be so entrenched in your existing position that the result of the next match doesn't matter. And by, like, halfway through the Overcooked tournament, we were like, yeah, unless we crap the bed or become gods, we're gonna finish fourth. So we kind of... We got to chill out from that point onwards. And, of course, the... There's no way I'm dodging those. Um, the, the, or that, I guess. The weird thing, of course, and, and this is not going to be foreign, but the, the weird thing was that after we uh, were like, ah, this is as good as we're likely to do, we, we did better. Like, not in terms of our result, our placement, I should say, but in terms of our, uh, uh, just our performance. Okay, so we accidentally bought a pill, so take it. You know, could be worse. We are going to buy a rune bag. Or, sorry, tarot cloth. I was going to say tarot cloth plus rune bag is uh, 
is extremely good, which is is absolutely true. So we got the devil, we got Perthro. Uh, well, you might as well check this out. Okay, uh, broken bones is just good. And I, I I got it on the unit I wanted to have it on. We will open. Okay, control Q, please. Just to, I mean, there's so many things to keep an eye on. Like, I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm playing, like, a flight simulator. Oh, we, we screwed up our deal with the devil. Come on, man. Like, I'm like, I gotta go through the checklist every time. Oh, right, not both characters are are safe here. Um, and, and we need to find a way out of this. That's not gonna do it. Okay, so how do, how do we not die? How to not die in Isaac? Step one... That's a 48 hour energy pill, as we should have known. Step one is drop everything. And then... No. Step one is drop every... This is too much, man. You can take the Bible track. That's fine. Now you have Alges, you have Perthro. I don't even know what the other pill is. It's probably Onsus. So why don't you go ahead and pick up the Onsus and then use it with control space. Now, just remember, if you get into any sort of trouble, it's very important. Ah! Just stay away. I mean, you, you don't want to be on zero HP when you're going up against uh, any enemy uh, as Jacob and Esau, because you could get hit out of nowhere, right? But... Like, it really is a test. How fast can you hit Control-Q if you have to? <laughs> <laughs> and don't walk on the creep. Come on, man! Control Q. I, I don't trust... Uh, I don't trust this room. Would we have been hit? I don't know. But psychologically, I don't know if I ever would have recovered. I, I think I'd, I'd still be dealing with, like, the PTSD of that room. Just hoping to dodge. Okay, as long... As, anytime we fight an enemy, we can keep on the other side of the map. I'm pleased. Now, this is very... You want to talk about what happened there? Or should I? Okay, so you're just going to chill out on top of the rocks over here? <laughs> uh, Degas? Oh, no, it's another Ansus. Um, basically, the jawbone ended up uh, hitting the familiar... Or not the familiar. Ended up hitting the heart into... Jacob instead of Esau because Jacob wasn't at full HP. I mean, you can you can figure out for yourself what happened there. This is not a second secret room, which is really devastating. We can't fight the boss. Like, it, <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm all. I was just gonna say I'm actually like less happy. We're gonna restart. I'm I'm a little annoyed. Let me just put it that way. But the annoyance was also like fair. <laughs> Dude, I actually think that like busted PhD can be pretty good. Um, and I, it probably gave us a pill on the room, but it's my bad. Uh, the flip side of that is that uh, I don't I don't think Monster Manuel even with its buff is good. The only reason I'm annoyed is because of the fact that. Uh, the, the, the projectile, like, jawbone play that happened there, but... I mean, it's... It, it, you can't blame anybody but yourself, really. And also, like, at some point it would have been nice, I guess, to get, like, some kind of HP upgrade. I guess we got one. But, like, let's not be too negative, okay? So on, on this run, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a different technique. By going alt-path early, I probably cost myself a certain amount of, like, opportunity cost. Now that I think about it, I also never left a trinket behind, so I guess we, we were... We, we might have remembered at some point, but we could have been doomed. We could have doomed ourselves. Okay, so why don't you take this? To tooth and Nail is actually, like, pretty useful. I don't know if we can use it to play self-sacrifice rooms, but we can definitely use it to get into curse rooms for free. Um, I don't think... I can't remember. I thought we tried to use it to get blood banks for free, and it didn't work. But we also may just die, but we'll see. Okay, this, this is actually really good. It, it really could not have been better. Okay, that could have been better, but everything else was sick. What the heck? Okay, so now that we have the red key, um, 
we literally <laughs> just that i mean i don't i don't think it's i i don't want to use it obviously so just don't hit q by accident but um i'm pretty sure that the red keys only well it has a charge on it so like you can definitely use it for more than just um unlocking the like we don't need to leave a trinket behind anymore we can just get the tainted version of jacob and esau if we make it to home um oh we almost made that dodge too or that one for that matter um or that one for that matter as well fruity plum has appeared in the basement how about that i should look it up i think okay dude i mean store credit why not and then we got false phd so lockdown will give damage up or, what happens if we put the pill down now and then swap it to the unit that doesn't... Okay, it, it doesn't change anything, it seems like. So you might as well take luck down for a damage upgrade. I mean, that's a very sizable damage upgrade. Control space. That's also quite nice. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm super confident this run is guaranteed to work out or anything, but... Um, you know... I'm going to buy spider mod. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but... It's kind of interesting, at least. Okay, so let's... Red Key Isaac. Not Red Key Card Tarkov. Log off. Okay. Well held, a red outline of doors will appear on walls in which a red key can be used on. A red room can be several types of rooms. Regular rooms, shops, arcades, sacrifice rooms, secret rooms, curse rooms, bedrooms, treasure rooms, vaults, libraries, dice rooms, devil rooms, angel rooms, error rooms, and planetariums. Okay, so that's uh, absurd. And hold on, we see one right here. Check this out. Why not? That's a regular enemy room. Probably wouldn't be your highest priority, but you know what? We gotta keep trying it. And I, I'm pretty sure you... Because I've, I've had... Well, I've obviously had the trinket before, but... It seems like there's a, a lot of rooms on which you can use this on. Like, that'll be interesting to try out. We're not going to go to the alt floor. We're just going to try to string together a little confidence here. You never know. And again, we don't need to leave a trinket behind now. In order to do what we what we wanted to do. So I've, I've been a proponent of the idea that, like, spider mod is maybe not that good. But I'm also... I don't see one there. Do I see one here? No. I'm also willing to say... That... Because I don't know what most of these enemies do at this point. Or many of these enemies do. Maybe it's worth it now. Okay. So, you know what? Imagine if we could go... If we could go double there. So, we have shop access. By the way, no idea what these trinkets do at all. But that's okay. Okay. I think, uh, I think I have the wrong game plan for, for Jacob and Esau, by the way. I think I should be trying to just, like, instead of trying to get both of them as many items as possible, it, it, obviously, if you can do it, it's not a bad play, but I think the, the higher chance of success will come from just building, like, one super character and then keeping the other one alive to the best of my abilities, <laughs> which is admittedly, again, kind of wishful thinking, but... You know, just just food for thought. Right now, nobody's really built strong. Um, like Jacob is is potentially going to be a little bit stronger, just because of the fact that uh, they have uh, the false PhD. All right, it's another just basic enemy room. But imagine, like, I mean, just being able to get. You know, like another item room or something is pretty sweet if you can swing it. Now, I'm also, I'm operating on probably the false principle that, like, the deeper you get into the alt floor, like, the greater your odds are of getting special rooms, which, I mean, we, we've got a very small data set right now. It doesn't appear to bear it out yet, but it's probably not the right uh, conclusion to draw this early. Okay, so free curse room. A theme. Well, if we're thinking we want to just build as uh, 
as easily or on the one unit than it would go on Jacob. And then we use this to not have... Oh, they're still going to hurt us on the way out. You jerk. Um, but we, we can get out for free with, with uh, Esau. So what are you complaining about? Look at that. So we got a teleporter we can't get to. But we at least... I mean, it's an item. I, 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 can't, I can't be too upset by the fact that they gave us an item. I do feel myself getting lost in the sauce. I think you can probably notice me getting lost in the sauce. <laughs> Which I don't even know what it means, but... I, an Emperor card is pretty sick. Okay. So we won't use that now, but we'll use it, like, probably immediately on our next floor. That's also a dice room, but I don't know. Like, the this room see or this, this run seems really fun so far. We're learning a lot. Anytime you feel your brain stretching, you know, it's a positive for the future. It means you're learning something. Okay, so we're building, we're trying something new. We're building on one unit. Admittedly, you might think Esau's better because they start with higher base damage, and I think there's a case to be made there. Um... But I'm, I'm banking on false PhD getting us there over time. Uh, 16 cents. I don't remember what was in the shop, but... Doesn't mean it's bad. That's a very good bomb. <laughs> Couldn't ask for more than that, really. Uh, let's uh, take it on Jacob, I guess, for now. This is something we want to mix up the survivability a little bit, for sure. Um, I know what you're going to say, and I very much disagree. I don't think we take it. And we have no room there uh, to try the key. I do want to try, like, if, if they've got a door that we can go through here. If they got a door we can go through. Okay, well, you know what, then? We're going down to the next floor. How about that? We're still alive, we're still living, and we're still feeling good. So, check this out. Um, what the heck? Okay, so you got, like, Bethany Wisps every floor. That seems not that good, but also, I mean, it's not... A huge knock. Like, it's not bad. Okay, so Bloody Penny is a, an acceptable trinket for sure. And then, uh, yeah, because we weren't doing anything with Karma anyway. Then we want to control... No, we want to just hit Q. Good move. And, uh... There go our Wisps. <laughs> okay, but we're free. Broken remote. No thank you. No thank... No, no thank you. That's fine. Okay, now get me out of here. Control space, please. Let's fight this boss. Mega fatty with bombs is not that bad. Normally, this is the tankiest and, like, one of the most annoying bosses in the game for when you fight them. Right now, I'm feeling okay. And I, I don't know. I'm feeling like we're building kind of like a, a, a potentially workable run, too. Um... So your lowest stat will get higher. I'm going to be honest. Ain't nobody got time for that. Thank you for making my range slightly better. <laughs> oh, but if you had just looked at the stat screen and puzzled it out, you would see that Esau's tears are... Look, um, look, man. Like, look at this. You see the amount of numbers that are on that? That would have taken seconds of work. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm having a good time on this run, by the way. You, you can tell that I'm 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 ebullient, as said uh, previously. I'm I'm confused, and I'm you know coming to terms with the fact that I might be 15 minutes late for my stream as a result of it. But but I'm also I'm freaking loaded on money, that's for sure. I'm hoping that at like one point, I know it seems uh, ambitious, but I'm hoping at one point, like this key actually you know is worth what. We, we've uh, spent on it, time-wise. <laughs> Hasn't been true yet, but... That's okay. Anyway. Oh, I honestly didn't even notice that you guys stuck on that. So I'm, I'm gonna... I'll take the L on that one. Is this run a win? Um, for now... It's really tough to just, like, look at it in a vacuum and say yes. I would say if we could get some more pills, because we know they're going to be bad, but that's good for us. 
If we could get some more pills, I'd, I'd definitely be, be tempted to start being more of an optimist here, I think. They won't let me hit Q, by the way. I'm trying. You gotta, I think you gotta wait till the room ends, which is very rare for a, a, a spacebar item. I wonder, does this give us... I mean, this is like we saved the key en route to the shop, right? That's kind of interesting. But uh, I, I'd say for now, this doesn't really seem like it's got it, but... You never know, right? Okay, well, I mean, you should buy the pill. We probably should have been buying pills more often. So, tears down will be a damage up. I'm still gonna take it. Ace of hearts. We'll clear a room. Okay, Joker. We, we didn't get to use it on this floor. Or we didn't get to deal with the devil on this floor. Alright, alright, alright. Hold on. Hold on. I don't remember what you do, but I think you're kind of good. But I think I'm gonna give money equals power to, to Jacob. And then, Vengeful Spirit. Is this like you get hit and it, it's like a, a really good attack fly or something, right? Huge growth. The world. Just use that immediately, please. Um, huge growth. A Ace of hearts. Okay. I, <laughs> again, we're, we're happy to have the money, so we probably won't spend too much more. So, control space there was a, was a big get. Um, and you know what? Why don't you take this to protect those, those flies? Technology, too. So, it's a damage downgrade. I'm going to give it to Esau, uh, and I stand by it. I, I think that this will still be a nice bit of damage dealing potential. Okay, so we, I'll be honest, we kind of put a rush job in on this floor. But I'm also just a confused little man right now <laughs> when it comes to all the different interlocking parts on this run. So I, I hope you'll you'll give me some, some mercy there. We got a good thing going here. Like, this, this is now... Good damage potential. Like I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling somewhat okay until these guys got split up here. So I will say for now, red key um, is is like one of my least favorite themes of items, which is items that have uh, potentially high variant rewards, but they pay out so infrequently that what it leads to is just being yelled at to use it over and over even though, you know, the expected value of a single press of the space bar is like almost nil. Uh, it, and I apologize for my overly verbose and snobby way of phrasing it, but it's, you know, it's just the streamer's perspective. Don't think it really matters who's got this. I, I guess if we were getting like some kind of cool bomb synergy maybe, but... Um, yeah, like I'm... I'm not trying to... Uh, you know, complain, it's more like it's one of those things where it, it's much like an Isaac's room for me right now, where it's like, it could pay out with something incredible, yet never has, but in theory, you never know. So I didn't want to... Dude, I don't know, actually, no, there's options is actually, as mentioned before, probably worth the damage downgrade, because we can get two items now. And that's pretty slick. We still got those Rodden Fly, or the Rodden Heart. Now, I'm so happy I know what Rodden Heart does now. Like, I mean, people have been probably shouting it at me for a week, for, for sure, but... <laughs> oh, we need the pills, man. For sure, for sure. Amnesia. I don't mind it, but we could wait a second. No, no, no. Okay, so that, I get... You know what? If, if we know it's a tears up, actually, we should take it on Jacob. Why not? Jacob does touch it. You pop that, you know you're getting one of those. Then you got huge growth. And what's our other card again? The moon. Okay. So we'll probably just... Now that we've willfully given ourselves a negative here, we'll probably just try to squeeze through the rest of the floor as quickly as possible. This is just a... Is this even a red room? I mean, it must be. We, we use the key to get in. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Let's go. Okay, so double item potential is huge. And for sure, like, don't forget about all those things that, like, you thought were beneath you now that you're good at Isaac. Like, using bombs to kill bosses that you used to be, like, you know, so good at fighting. Don't forget to, uh, you know, lean... Son of a... <laughs> Lean back on those. Like, those could be helpful. So damage, you're, you're going to laugh. Now I'm kind of of the opinion that the damage should go to uh, Esau just because uh, he, he also has technology too, which is quite nice. But there's 
I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of good, there's a lot of... There's a lot... I was gonna say a lot of good, a lot of bad, but I guess what I mean is there's a lot of good reasons for Jacob to take something, there's a lot of good reasons for Esau to take something. PJ's is fine, maybe would have rather split this, but that's okay. Lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna use huge growth. I want this damage. Okay, that was incredibly stupid. In my defense, um, I simply was not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know how much of a defense you'll take that as, but, uh... That's how I feel about it. So you're just like the worst enemy in the game, huh? That's that's your thing? We got a cool wisp as well. Look at that cool wisp. What's up with that? How, how come your mom lets you have such a cool wisp? I don't know, man. Just, just built different, I guess. Now, in spite of everything, um... I do feel like this run has actually started to, to plateau a little bit, which is unfortunate. I don't want to be in that situation. Um, and, and it sounds like I'm complaining, because I'm complaining, but we just, we, we'd really like to see a good deal with the devil here would, would be particularly nice. The mark is a great pickup, no matter who you get it on. Okay. And dude, I gotta tell you, I, I used to think that the spikes item was like... I mean, I've only had it three times, I think. The first time I got it, I thought it was heavily overrated. I was like, who's gonna do this at all? And then I realized... Very bad. Uh, it, it turns out, free curse item, or free curse room, almost always extremely good. <laughs> Very rarely are you like, oh no, I got into... I'm unwilling to wait two seconds to get into the curse room for free. Like, it's a, it's a very nice pickup. So I, I've got uh, red keys, like, on a little bit of probation right now. I, I just wanted to think about what it's done. And let's see. One of these days, man. One of these days. I wonder, again, like, I, I'm still... I, I, I'm wondering if with red key, what it does is, like, there's a, a, a floor... Like, I mean, I, I, here's the way I think about it, okay? There's two ways it could work in my head. One is it generates, uh, like, the, the red floor uh, at runtime, and then it, you know, you get access to it, the predetermined room payouts uh, when you go in through the door, if you're able. The other one is that, like, it just opens the doors, like, algorithmically based on whether or not there's the space for it, and then it generates the contents of the room at runtime. So I would think, and I don't know this for sure, but I would think if the rooms were generated, like, bespoke at the start of a floor, then they would probably do something like, you know, have an item room on every single floor that's hidden, and you'd have to find it by, you know, just going, like, as deep into that, uh, Minus realm, the, the Twin Peaks realm, as much as possible. If it's generated, uh, the other way, you know, basically just... As you go through the door, it chooses what's on the other side. I would think we would have seen one by now, but... I mean, I, I could easily just be wrong, obviously. Um, why not, right? Like, we kind of gotta take a stab at this. So I would say, obviously... That's really good. <laughs> okay, get me out. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, Esau takes nothing, but... Magic 8-Ball and Placenta. Okay, the Fool card is actually nice. It saves us, uh... Saves us a little bit of grief on the next floor. We can just fight Mom and then immediately go into home. Um... We don't care for our shop because... Well, we kind of don't care for our shop because of money equals power. Here's what I'd say right now. I think we've done a good job of giving this run the old college try. I do think... We'll take that on the way out, I think. Um, I do think... we There's no chance of us beating the beast. Such bad dodging. <laughs> I thought that might give us a demon heart. Anyway. Um, there's no chance of us beating the beast. I think there's a decent chance of us unlocking the, the secret character. Okay, forget me now. 
trying to think of the best way you would use that. Um, we're not going to make boss rush. You might as well just use it right now. Yeah, and I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the stop on using the red key, just temporarily. And I know you're gonna say like it's it's lazy or whatever. That's not really the way I'm looking at it. Like the way I see, oh, we should have taken amnesia first for a, a demon heart. But uh, the way I look at it is like Esau doesn't have much HP. So we the the more rooms we do with no payout, <laughs> the greater our odds of of failure. Um, but if we could use it to, like, get into some rooms that we wouldn't otherwise be able to get into, that's a different story. Like, maybe... Oh, jeez. Maybe, maybe I've been thinking about it all wrong. And instead of using it as, like... Oh, like, we're trying to get, like, an item room we don't deserve or whatever. We could use it as a... Uh, as a means to, like, get into a room we otherwise wouldn't be able to access. I don't know. It's also always possible we could just be hitting, like, a stretch of bad luck, right? Maybe everybody else is like, oh, every time I use it, I get an item room. Okay, this is just modestly spooky, but the, the damage potential with everything we got going here is actually quite strong. Wow, uh, I regret everything. You'd think you'd get at least one card. I'm not rooting for the demon hearts necessarily, but... This is Necropolis 1? This is like the... Look at the size of this floor. I know I've, I've been through this before. Not everybody's a fan of this discourse. And I'm like, it really... Oh, dude, we're one. Well... Uh... well what can you say? Uh, you can say that this is a character that's pretty tough. You can say that uh, we might have thrown a little bit, but you can also say we we did our best with the red key, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. I play so much Isaac there. It'll make your head spin, and I'll see you next time. See ya!